Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Uh, that is comfortable. Y'all think too small, I got big dreams. You just start them way ahead at the end scenes. Started reading and dodging all of the quick schemes. Money like your Spotify, boy, I got 10 streams. And I'm still looking for more. My people, they got a saw. I'm putting that on the Lord. Ain't accepting, ignore. Just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's got to be real big. I got to make it just for my kids and for their kids. It's kids, that's wealth, years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out to finish this bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big. Job, that's real big. Satan trying a little. My God, is real big. Stayed up on the grind on the cars is real big. I got to do it big. The only way that I can live. And I promise I'm trying to. Before you count me out, homie, let me remind you. They was blocking the shine. Now I think it's my time to. Careful them dollar signs like lights, they'll blind you. Let me rewind to. Back when I was broken, I couldn't acquire two cents. And now I got two rents. They was sleeping on me, homie, must have got too big. Call my phone, I'll be like, who this? Damn right, hell yeah, I'm brand new. Smell like can too. I'm fresh forever like canned food. Try and tell me what I can't do. I want to see the world, my vision on Shamu. I mean, I got goals that's real big. Foes that's real big. Your offer too little, sorry, my soul is real big. Coming into the ring with blows that's real big. I got to do it big. That's the only way I can live. What were you like today? Another Cloud 2 Classic? I'll stick with the usual. Maybe take a little bit off the sides. Oh, that's fresh. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Hey, watch your head. Welcome everyone to ECAC week number six. I am your host, the mustache here with the ravishing ra or ravishing ravish. Uh, guys, this is an interesting matchup. Sorry for the delay. We've had a little bit of a mix up with the teams and stuff like that, but we've got a matchup for you here between none other than Northern Maine Community College and Co College. So ravish, how are you doing? Are you excited for this matchup? <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So guys, we don't want to waste any more of your time. We are just going to get right into this. Both teams are ready to go. They're getting their places set out on the pitch. Both these teams coming in at one of four. We are in a Swiss format. So you, you're you looking towards the bottom side of uh, the Swiss bracket, but still good set of teams uh, ahead of you right now mm -hmm. again looking at through what they've kind of been dealing with i know look looking at co college they've uh, lost their they lost their first four matches but they got a win last week so hopefully they can build up off of that uh northern maine they did lose last week so maybe they can kind of bounce back from that that is the big question but none other we are going to head down to the field. I'm excited for this one. And honestly, I'm not sh quite familiar with either, either of these two teams. So I'm interested to see how this one will play out. And it looks like actually the teams, not all the teams, <laughs> not all the teams were able to get set up at the start clock. So we've got to reset them. We've got to remake the lobby and then we will be back to it. But what are you looking uh, to see in all of this uh, throughout these two Rocket League teams? Goals. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? You're right. You will definitely see, hopefully, see a lot of goals. Hey, it only takes one to win. You only need one goal. You don't have to go for, for a bunch. You just, have to, you just have to get the one. So we will have to, like I said, remake the lobby and then uh, we will get this one underway. What I want to see from these two teams, Co College coming off of that win from last week, they took down, let me look at it real quick. I have my notes mm -hmm. out here. Uh, they took down JWURL White, which is none other than Johnson and Wales University. It was a pretty thrilling matchup from looking at the stats. Co College won it in a 3 0 sweep. 
Maybe Co is able to do that here and put themselves at a two and four situation. I'm not quite sure what this uh, record will do for them as far as playoffs. I'm pretty sure they probably could be out, but don't quote me on that. But still, now you're just trying to go cut your losses and see how many wins you can get towards the end of the season. Hundred thousand percent. And now that I'm done with that bit, I could probably add a bit more to the conversation, right? <laughs> yeah. But it's like like you were saying, uh, although, uh, although like the record isn't exactly stellar, like definitely as you were saying here, Sash, like it's it doesn't necessarily speak to the caliber team that are in front of us today. And I know today's been a little bit back and forth for y'all, so we do appreciate y'all's patience, and we do thank y'all for you know just. Make sure things are running smoothly and the things are a okay in between them. But while we wait for these teams to go ahead and set up and do their thing, one, actually, I believe teams are about right, almost ready to go as one. I believe we are as well. You feeling ready, Stash? You, you, you I feel am definitely ready to finally see some Rocket League between these two teams. So I'm going to let you kick it off with game number one. All right. Yes, sir. So we head right on into it. I like the kickoff too. It was a little, it was a nice little pass. It was a nice little pass. But the question is, looking can go cards right now. And okay, I didn't catch it. But within four seconds, I was like, yo, that's a nice pass. That might go for a little lot about it. But Scooter probably has it, right? No. His front wheels have betrayed him. And within a couple of seconds, Co College get the first shot. That is, uh, that was a little bit unfortunate. It was just a little bit of a miss out there from Scooter and Illyrium just picking up a perfect little wide open net opportunity. But can Snay over there on Co try to set up yet another one? Illyrium's really setting the pace out here for Co College, but plenty of time for Northern Maine to turn this around. They can't falter just yet, but the aggressiveness to come out from Co is looking stellar, and Snay is going to put a second one on the board. Starting things off hot, my friend, within the first minute, nade, within the first 30 seconds. Already two goals going over to Ko, and honestly, it's, here's what I'm assuming here, Stash, because like, I know like teams take a little bit more time to warm up, because you do definitely have to try to stay warm, and like, maybe the game, like just the first one, he's a little bit of jitter, so. I think I'm gonna let those two go slide as my man almost did right there. Illyrium decided that he probably wanted to tie this up a little bit more though, but still, still, things still staying on the side. I'll go yeah, college, was... pass to mid. No, I can't get anything off of it. That was definitely a dangerous situation for Illyrium back there on that goal line. I would have liked to have seen Northern Main kind of push up on that. They've got the time to be a little bit more dangerous. It's not quite past the halfway point. They are down the two goals, so you don't want to give too much up too quickly. But I want to see some more attack to come out for the main co college of controlling every part of the ball. Speaking of controlling the part of the ball to get again, Northern Main has, has, has had to take consistent. Attacks from this aggression that's coming out of Coldo, but might be might be, might be a nice shot opportunity. Blocked away yet again while they're trying to convert on it. And he just doesn't go up for it. Okay. Um. So I think I think Snay was a little bit bewildered by the fact that uh Wilder was able to get just a little pop-up on that top shelf. And he was in an awkward position, so Snay not able to go up for that one and just kind of watch as it floated into that upper corner. Northern Maine finally putting one on the board. Now within one, they've got all the time in the world. Three minutes is quite a bit here in the Rocket League world, but they've got to put that second one on the board to keep the equalizer. And right now, Allsbro receiving the pass, but getting knocked away. Illyrium trying to clear out the defense and see if they can get a good transition. So all stuff so far coming out of Northern Maine, especially based on that, what I know they have to feel a lot more confident. And I was saying things might be a little bit more jittery as you get the first minute of the game, but maybe your fingers are worn up. All those R2s are firing at all sides and you're ready to power slide. All you way to the next goal so far as well. They're passing, tossing down the middle. Fortunately, no one there to actually catch the pass and a bit of two on one right now as Cole College is going to take control of the ball. Trying to keep that pressure going for Co College. They have still the one goal lead. The defense has been looking strong. I am 
excited about what Northern Maine has been doing on their offensive side now. It feels like they've, they've loosened up. They've been able to make uh, a few attacks here and there. They're going to have to solidify this defense and make sure that Hill College doesn't put another one on the board. So far, it could be a nice shot opportunity yet again. Northern Maine just cannot get to the goal in time. That's twice now that the shot's been on the beaches to open. Nat here pass it off to run on a right field and meet with the bounce up. And it was just a clear shot. And goal call is maintaining the two goal lead here, Stan. Oh, but as you say that, never mind. So I, felt, <laughs> I felt I had a little bit of a caster curse on that co-college goal, but then right as you say, Scooter is able to put off kickoff, just the miscommunication to come out from co-college. They parked the C and just a wide open net for Northern Maine to put it right down the pipe. Man, the amount of times that has happened to me in my actual games, bro, especially <laughs> with the back of on defense, I'm thinking, yo, I can go for boost, right? I'm fine. No, no. Because uh, because because my man somehow loses kickoff every single time, but oh yet again Wilder with the second two just in, the angle was just so much nicer. But look at this, my man just can't get there. They just they just walk past it. It's a, it's a little high five in the air. No, Delirium. he tried. He had a bounce. All right, I'm gonna disconnect. I'm not gonna say nothing. I'm <laughs> I've learned my lesson on that. I'm gonna stay quiet, but I'm gonna just see you know, Cold College and between all the main, clearly the match has been so consistently just shot for shot with the way these teams have been playing. And with a couple of the goals, like it, it does seem as though like they don't necessarily have to go in, but they do anyway. So for example, this one, but might have been also floating up in the air. It could have been another shot. Perhaps somebody's there by midfield. Sally, no creed. The bounces it up. Ball out it in their favor as well. to convert on the, on top of it. Passes it off. Can't get a second. And no. Yet again. Ball fall away from Cole College. So they cannot maintain control for much longer. As his seconds are left. Got less than 60 seconds left in the game. And it's going to be Northern Maine trying to recover. They had it all tied up, but then Co was able to pull out just one goal. Is it going to be enough? Right now, they're stuck on the defensive side, and you got Scooter here for Northern Maine trying to set something up. Creek can't connect. This one just floating right by the goal line. Nobody able to get a touch on it while they're putting one in front. Scooter trying to do the same thing. The defense holding down the fort for Co College. The offense going to see what they can do. It was right there. Just a little touch off the top bar. It would have done it even just on a little flick. But Saudi for now, speaking of the flicks, the, the snake gets the fifth here to make sure to top it off and give Co a two goal lead that is now has to be cemented at this point. But it's 10 seconds, so I could be wrong yet again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, two goal lead, I, I'm not sure. I'm don't think that Northern Maine will be able to catch back up. This one just floating by. Owls is going to be able to get the touch on it. But a valiant effort from Northern Maine. One further road. No, this one drops. Co College will take it with a two goal lead to end it all out. Game one in favor of Co College looking good. But I do feel like Northern Maine were starting to warm up. It just kind of. It, it kind of got away from them there in the, like the last 60 seconds. And I think if they can go the whole distance of the five minutes, I think we'll have a much closer matchup. And speaking of closer matchups too, I find one main thing that both of these colleges can improve on is just making sure that you're lined up for your, uh, making sure that you're lined up for your defense. Cause I think at least like at least three of those goals, maybe even four of them on both ends if they just were on the right side of the field, they could be able to easily pull over. They could be been able to actually ease your drive on by the net. Would have been a decent save, and things would have been fine for there. But, you know, in a couple of those instances, right, the eyes were not prepared, or the ankle was just a little bit too off for them. So 
I think like, you know, just to make things even closer, even tighter. I'm a, I like to see that just bolstering up that goal defense a little bit. And don't go for boost off kickoff, guys. Please don't do it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I've always said you got to have one to go. And I think many out there in the Rock League universe say the same thing. Always have one cheat up behind when it's especially in threes. Illyrium not going to be able to connect. So it's going to be Creed to take possession of this ball. Scooter, though, taking it away. Just a little bit of a midfield tussle here as we start this game off. Owl's got to get it clear, but a nice little dunk from Illyrium, keeping the hopes alive for Co College, and they're already off to a great offensive start like they were in game one. I want to see two go up for Co here because I can see that so far they're playing very far back. So I would like to see at least the two go for attack because more often than not, it is just Illyrium up there by himself. If there was a second, you know, just somebody coming up behind him it would have been quite nice. I think he even set up this, if he set up that also beautiful and crucial three man rotation. And I'm sure Northern Maine is in for a little bit of trouble before now. This continue forward, Northern Maine taking the brunt of their attacks. So finally, as the ball gets cleared out, go college again in possession. I will definitely agree with you with that whole you know sending two players up both teams really in, in this game at least both of them shooting or just sending one striker out and then nobody able to play cleanup i've seen two instances but oh. that's gonna be a little bit of a misstep as i believe it was scooter in the air trying to go for the block not able to connect with it and this one just falls right into the net snay credited with the goal and we see cool college with that first point on the board do you think his name is baines I think it might be Beans. <laughs> oh, ba ba yeah. Or it's Beans. If it's Beans backward. But You're right. Yeah, I think it's Beans. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll let somebody, uh, if there's a fan in chat that can correct us, please let us know. Otherwise, I'll probably just fix it. Because I like that name, too. Mm, it's not bad at all. I was thinking that just because of the capital letter at the end, it might be... Nice and let's speaking of the devil, he shall arrive yet again. Beans, get that shot. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, you know what? His his ears must have been burning. He heard us talking about him, and look at that. He puts one on the board yet again. Two on for Co College, and we saw this in game number one. And just like that, kickoff. Oh, Co, they've got to watch those those splits on the kickoff. Someone's got to cheat up because that could have been dangerous. But they're able to counter and at least get it over here to Northern Main Half. Good pass over to midfield, though. But unfortunately, Learn was not there to catch it, and the Co College kind of lets that go. It was actually a really beautiful opportunity. I'll find to make this a 3-0 possibly, but. For now, though, Northern May looking to take things back a little bit. Still, I've not been able to set up any sort of aggressive front. Just just for now, just trying to respond to everything Cole College is bringing out. As they're all looking a little bit low on boost, so hopefully they can get some of that and continue on forward. Lyrium sitting over here with no boost. Just trying to hold on possession. Now, I like that he didn't just go away from the ball. Some players, when they're out of boost, they will just kind of walk away and leave it for another teammate, but you've got to keep it close. And because of all of that setup from Illyrium, Snay and Creed able to tag team each other and get yet another goal for Co College. Snay slash Beans does it again. <laughs> <laughs> Gets the second two. And after that, by, by the way, we, we shouldn't even talk about it. But after getting that goal previously, he also gets a huge save right, right away to top it off and make sure that and again, Cole College can maintain this two now three goal lead up against Northern Maine. Now, two minutes left in this game, still a lot of time, but they'll be able to come back. But based on the conversion of the time that we've seen so far, Northern Maine got to get at least like you know one every like 30 seconds, it should be fine. Oh, I thought that was gonna be oh. one right there. That was so close. Good effort from northern main but again we just see this attack and look at the demos come Ooh. out the aggressiveness from both squads but it is co college to come out on top and just as the dust settles this one falls in and we see the fourth goal for co you cannot stop them right now creed with a beautiful carry through but my man went to go walk the dog and then let it go free and even at the last second while he's being attacked too he just had the straight a fantastic angle. As of right now, Cole, Northern Maine. Gotta do something. 
to make sure that thing thing could be a little bit more in their favor. Lyrium is an unfortunate whiff, but not one they can get punished off of, though. Go call it still a two back up on the defense, so a little bit of double touch, which is not bad, though. Beans again has it again cleared out. Well done by Northern Maine. I'm wanting to see that aggressive attack on the offense from Northern Maine that we saw in game number one. They are definitely sitting on their back foot, almost giving time and space to Co College and a little bit too much if they're wanting to come back. They've got 60 seconds left. Looking dangerous. Oh, oh wow. Was not able to connect. Wilder came Wait. to the double. Not able to do so either. And this one will get saved. Close call, but that's exactly what I want to see. Throwing all the players from Northern Maine at the ball to make any type of attempt. You're down four goals. There's really nothing else you can lose. You've got to try to, you know, uh, decrease this deficit. And they were just low on boost there. There just was not enough power behind the shots for them to be able to actually go in. And Coca-Cola just kind of get a free save off of that. Just ball was way too slow. And even past all the whiffs that unfortunately are happening, right? Bro, the main just can't seem to get one on the board here, sadly. So, but 15 seconds left to go here, Sash. Let's look forward towards that next and possibly final game of the night. Yes. We got you. I want to see, you know, Northern Maine, they've got it. Game one, we saw so much out of them. And then for whatever reason, Co College just comes out swinging here in game number two, putting on a lot of aggression, a lot of attack on that offensive side. And they're able to get a very early lead, much like they did in game one. But we saw Northern Maine catch back up in that previous game. In this one, I felt like every time we were looking at Co College on their attack, Northern Maine was sitting back. And because of that, they were you just gave all the time for Co College to think of any type of play, whether they were going to pass, whether they were going to dribble, uh do a one play, one's play to try to break through a defender. It was just all you were basically spoon feeding them goals and so northern maine they're gonna have to get on that attack they're gonna have to start challenging the ball a little bit sooner if they're gonna want to keep their hopes alive in this series because right now co college they are getting better and better as the games go on and sadly enough this could be the final game in the series just like you mentioned this was this was a pet ultimate game possibly for the night though but i want to go back to a point that you raised it before as well stash we we're talking a little bit about right at the end and for northern maine right they had to what they're playing a lot more aggressive uh, uh on the on the opposite side and things look really good if they weren't lacking boost i'm sure they could have brought back at least one if not two there too making the game a lot closer than it potentially did seem because although they cleaned up on both sides on a little bit of the defense the offense for the remain just was consistently lacking so going into this one it has to be all forward from them. No looking back. Don't chill behind. Do not wait for the ball to come to you. Be for the ball. Be the ball. See the ball. Eat the ball. Yes. Uh, be, be there because you have to. You're, you are 100% correct. I want to see two on any type of attack go up and make sure that they have everybody in position right here while they're trying to set it up. He doesn't have too much boost, but the challenge right there almost worked out. Creed getting a touch on it. It could have bounced towards net. We like to see that. Scooter's trying to cheat up as well. You have to be on this attack. You cannot give them any time and space. Illyrium is there. Oh, Owls can't oh, connect. Illyrium's still going to be able to put it in. No defender there. And Co. get another one. You know, man, when we said play offensive, we didn't mean just like give up the net, but that was actually a really nice bump as well coming out of Coke College. Just uh, physically body check everyone out of their net. They just decided like, no, 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 no. Nobody needs to be here as of right now. And again, they started off hot. The ball again on Northern Main side. But beans. Can I convert out of this two there? Same feel. Same side of the field, easily cleared out, the, but maybe and make a pass play. No one on the other end, so they can't do much more on past of it. And Northern Main takes beautiful advantage of it, carries it all the way over onto the other side, making a 1 1. That is a fantastic play by Owls to be able to read the fact the Snake or Beans got a 
awkward hit off of it. I don't believe he was expecting that one to go quite center like it did. But the wherewithal from Owls to say, look, he set it up. He gave it to me. Let me make sure I get this one in. Tied it all up. This is... We saw game one in a tie, but this is nice to see this tie early on. Do not let this one snowball away from you like game two did. I believe Northern Maine looking good right now, but they're going to be stuck on this defensive side and they get it past that midfield line. That is the first step in a good attack. And right now, Northern Maine, they still have possession. To the forward between these two. Go call is like you're saying, body get a possession over from Northern Maine, but Owls, bro, is doing a fantastic job make, of just trying to dissuade them from getting any closer. Has a solid clear so far, but no one there beside him. Good block on the shot, but can he get any more off of it? They're both seem a little bit lagging behind, and Owls, bro, all the way up at the front. Creed goes up for the shot, but unfortunately, ball does not right in front of him but in, but the net is just open they just get it okay i'll take it <laughs> <laughs> and you know what i like that little pop-up from creed because i don't know if it's because of the skyline i too am a skyline main so i feel like it is a little bit easier to get those little pop-ups that hybrid hitbox tend to help but man just a good pop up to get over the defender and get one more creed got the the, the last goal he's gonna get this one and now we see a two goal lead in for co -Cali. well done out of them though co college consistently maintaining the two goal lead like i said now i'm putting this out there in the ether because i want where the man to come back so i <laughs> just get out that maybe that maybe the curse also works in university for listening does reverse psychology work on you y'all let me know right. <laughs> my, my reverse caster curse it, my powers on that are very lacking i i don't i do not have the reverse caster curse but i definitely feel like i have the uh the standard caster curse and those powers mm -hmm. are quite strong but can we see something develop here for Northern Maine? Creed goes for a little bit of oh. a fake. I think that was calculated. Maybe good communication come out from Beans and Creed. But uh, you see the attack. Illyrium goes for that one. And it's Beans who's there to make the play. Wilder, can he get the pop-up? He does get it oh. past the two defenders. And within one, it is Northern Maine. And it was a whiff after a whiff after a whiff, but by the end of it, Northern Maine manages to get it. Look at the look at the side by side as they just unfortunately both cross away though. Shout out to Northern Maine for actually getting another one and making this game a lot closer. This is what I wanted to see. Let's absolutely go. And my reverse catch curse worked. <laughs> it's, hey, your powers are quite strong, but hmm. Beans getting it past two. Can he set Creed? this one up? He does. All three members of Co College putting themselves on the ball on this one, and they get that two goal lead back again. Beautiful cross out as well from Co College to just making sure that Northern Maine can't even touch the ball. And what's watching it glide on by. One minute and 38 seconds left within this game. Or the main not too far off from this, but they have to find a way to consistently maintain possession of the ball. They cannot let Cole Call stay control because once that happens, that all three of them go on up and suddenly you're looking at another goal pass on by. But plays like that, go for more aggressive being or for these demos like for bumps out of the way, just making sure that you be interference is how you come back into this game. Oh, and well, Owls setting that one up for Wilder. I like the communication between Northern Maine. They are definitely pushing up two at a time to try to help and give some aid. Owls off the ceiling. Lyrium getting the touch, but the double commits starting to come out from Co College. It seems to be working though, as Creed gonna drop that one down. Crossbar out, and I, I believe Beans was there to give him some aid as well, but it didn't matter. Three goal lead, 53 seconds left. Northern Maine has to get a goal on an average of once every maybe 15 seconds. If they are to come back, it is impossible to take us into overtime. 
That was a solid kickoff too. Now they're going for the cheap, no! Oh, let it come all the way from the side. He finally gets the angle, saves the shot beautifully. Done by him. And now from that conversion, from the save, Cole Collin, how two of them don't touch the ball. That's crazy, bro. <laughs> You know, I feel like they're just throwing everybody at it now because they have the go the, the three goal lead. There's really no reason for them to hang back. They don't feel like they are are threatened at all. And Co College are just vibing out there with the leads that just seem to ever be increasing. Scooter though, going to try and close the deficit. Not able. Uh, again, valiant effort, but Co College seem to have this series in the bag a 3-0 sweep for them they got a 3-0 sweep last week they will do it again this week congratulations they continue on now two and four and it's going to be a one and five record for our boys over there in northern maine northern maine they definitely absolutely played their hearts out big shout out to them for doing their thing but like you mentioned their stats the cold college once they noticed that the aggression was the name of the game and they did not let up for even for a uno momento. Now, so phenomenal stuff out of that. Like really, really fun game. Now, with that being said, I believe we do have an interview to follow as well here, though, Stash. But before we go to that interview, there is somebody that we do got to thank. Of course there is. So that is none other than the Lenovo with the Lenovo Legion knows your play to win. To stand out from the competition, you need equipment that matches the speed of your thoughts and actions. The Legion Y25 monitor delivers wins in the toughest, most critical situations with its extreme one millisecond response time to its insane 240 hertz refresh rate. The Legion Y25 doesn't just keep up, but it's but does a lot more built for those engaged in vast multiplayer battles at the tournament level the legion y25 offers a 24 and a half inch fhd ips panel with built-in nvidia nvidia g-sync capability the legion y25 monitor is available at lenovo.com and other fine real real tailors i'll tell you what a uh, 24 and a half inch fhd ips panel ips i love I, i've got an ips panel they are quite uh quite the monitors to have so guys pick that one up if you want but we will be taking a short break we're going to get our interviewee ready and in the call and we will be back to speak with one of the players from your winner co college what sound experience would you like today i'll have the fantasy pack good choice and could you make it a cloud two wireless on its way sir Sounds amazing. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Wow. Ain't accepting, ignore, just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's got to be real big. I got to make it just for my kids and for their kids. It's kids, that's wealth, years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out and finished his bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big. Jobs, that's real big. Satan trying a little, my God, is real big. Stayed up on the grind on the cars, is real big. I got to do it big. The only way that I can live. Hey, man, I just can't find a comfortable headset. I mean, I've tried everything. Literally everything. Jeez, my brother. I got you. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Oh, that is comfortable. Yeah, I think too small, I got big dreams. You just starting, I'm way ahead at the end scenes. Started reading and dodging all of the quick schemes. Money like your Spotify, boy, I got 10 streams. And I'm still looking for more. My people, they got a sore, I'm putting that on the Lord. Ain't accepting, ignore, just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's got to be real big. I got to make it just for my kids and for their kids. It's kids, that's wealth, years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out and finished his bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big. Job, that's real big. Satan trying a little, my God, is real big. Stayed up on the grind on the cars, is real big. I got to do it big. The only way that I can live. And I promise I'm trying to. Before you count me out, homie, let me remind you. They was blocking the shine. Now I think it's my time to. Careful them dollar signs like lights, they'll blind you. Let me rewind to. Back when I was broke and I couldn't acquire two cents. And now I got two rents. They were sleeping on me, homie, must have got too big. 
Call my phone, I'll be like, who this? Damn right, hell yeah, I'm brand new. Smell like can too. I'm fresh forever like can food. Try and tell me what I can't do. I want to see the world, my vision on share mood. I mean, I got goals that's real big. Foes that's real big. Y'all offer too little, sorry, my soul is real big. Coming into the ring with blows that's real big. I got to do it big. That's the only way I can live. What were you like today? Another Cloud 2 Classic? I'll stick with the usual. Maybe take a little bit off the sides. Oh, that's fresh. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Hey, watch your head. What sound experience would you like today? I'll have the fantasy pack. Good choice. And could you make it a Cloud 2 Wireless? On his way, sir. Sounds amazing. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Wow. Ain't accept and ignore, just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's got to be real big. I got to make it just for my kids and for their kids. It's kids, that's wealth, years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out and finish this bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big. Jobs, that's real big. Say trying a little, my Welcome back, everybody, to ECAC week number six between it was Northern Maine College, Community College, and Co College, but it was Co College to take the series in a 3 0 sweep. I am the mustache here with Ravishing Ravish, and we have got one of the players from Co College, Beans, here with us. Beans, how is it going? Oh, it's going pretty good. I mean, just had a, a clean sweep victory. Really can't complain about that. Of, uh, uh, definitely. And of course, we had to ask him what he was pronouncing because we were uh, pronouncing his name wrong. I was saying Snay, and uh, it, uh, it was definitely uh, Ravish who, uh, or Avish who said it was definitely Bean. So he was correct on that. But I've got to ask you, what were you guys thinking? You know, you had a 3 0 sweep, I believe, last week. And so now you're able to come in this week, get another 3 0 sweep that's huge. Was there anything different? Did you just go into this, treat it like any other series? What were your, what was your guys' game plan for this week? Oh, I mean, we didn't really game plan anything out of the ordinary. We just ag agreed we were going to put our heads down and play the best we could because that's all we can do any week. Uh, I mean, when we're playing throughout the week together, uh, preparing for our matches, me, Illyrium, and Creed, we all uh, just make sure that we're prepping the stuff we notice as week in our last match. So we've been working a lot on like uh, passing plays and shot placement because those have been areas we kind of been struggling. So uh, we try to emphasize those when we can. But other than that, I mean, nothing different this week. We just treated it like another another match we had to be ready for. Understandable. Beans, I'm just going to ask you a, maybe a bit of an unorthodox question here. What are your opinions on going for boost right uh, right after kickoff? Uh, so it really <laughs> depends on your placement on the field, I suppose. Um, hmm. If you're straight, on, if I'm straight on the ball and I've got a teammate on the diagonal kickoff, I like to cheat up a little bit just in case mm -hmm. it's a stalemate in the center field. Um, because the quicker you can get up there to sort of take possession or take a pot shot for your team, the better position you're in. Mm -hmm. um but i mean especially in threes there's there should always be one person going for boost uh off the kickoff and usually depending on how the formation is you should have one person uh cheating up after the kickoff thank you beans <laughs> oh i definitely agree with that bun but that is going to be all we have thank you so much beans beans is there anybody you guys want to shout out to friends family the college anybody this is your time to shine congratulations on the win here is your soapbox say thanks to anybody uh yeah first i just want to thank uh, our director kurt kim for keeping the program held together i want to thank my teammates Illyrium and creed for being the best teammates i could ask for uh, I want to give a shout out to the rest of the Overwatch team for being committed to their games and putting the work in just like we are. We got our Overwatch team playing a match right now, actually. So we're rooting for them. There you go. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Well, 
Awesome. Well, hopefully they get the win. Congratulations on your guys' win, and thank you for stopping in again. Congratulations on the 3-0 sweep. Looking pretty good, and hopefully you guys can carry it on into next week. But ladies and gentlemen, that will be all we have for you today. We have Overwatch being brought to you here on this stream, so guys, do not go anywhere. That is going to be all we have for ECAC Rocket League. Now, Stick around for some Overwatch. God is real big. Stayed up on the ground and the cars is real big. I gotta do it big. The only way that I can live. Hey man, I just can't find a comfortable headset. I mean, I've tried everything. Literally everything. Jeez, my brother. I got you. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Oh, that is comfortable. Y'all think too small, I got big dreams. You just start I'm way ahead at the end scenes. Started reading and dodging all of the quick schemes. Money like your Spotify, boy, I got 10 streams. And I'm still looking for more. My people, they got a saw. I'm putting that on the Lord. Ain't accepting, ignore. Just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's got to be real big. I got to make it just for my kids. And for their kids, it's kids. That's wealth years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out to finish this bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big. Jobs, that's real big. Satan trying a little. My God is real big. Stayed up on the ground and the cars is real big. I got to do it big. The only way that I can live. And I promise I'm trying to. Before you count me out, homie, let me remind you. They was blocking the shine. Now I think it's my time to. Careful them dollar signs like lights, they'll blind you. Let me rewind to. Back when I was broken, I couldn't acquire two cents. And now I got two rents. They was sleeping on me, homie, must have got two bit. On my phone, I be like, who this? Damn right, hell yeah, I'm brand new. Smell like can too. I'm fresh forever like canned food. Try and tell me what I can't do. I want to see the world. My vision on Shamu. I mean, I got goals that's real big. Foes that's real big. Your offer too little. Sorry, my soul is real big. Coming into the ring with blows that's real big. I got to do it big. That's the only way I can live. What were you like today? Another Cloud 2 Classic? I'll stick with the usual. Maybe take a little bit off the sides. Oh, that's fresh. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Hey, watch your head. What sound experience would you like today? I'll have the Fantasy Pack. Good choice. And could you make it a Cloud 2 Wireless? On his way, sir. Sounds amazing. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Wow. Ain't accepting, ignore, just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's got to be real big. I got to make it just for my kids and for their kids. It's kids, that's wealth years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out to finish this bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big. Job, that's real big. Satan trying a little, my God, is real big. Stayed up on the ground and the cars is real big. I got to do it big. The only way that I can live. Hey man, I just can't find a comfortable headset. I mean, I've tried everything. Literally everything. Jeez, my brother. I got you. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Oh, that is comfortable. Y'all think too small, I got big dreams. You just start, I'm way ahead at the end scenes. Started reading and dodging all of the quick schemes. Money like your Spotify, boy, I got 10 streams. And I'm still looking for more. My people, they got a saw, I'm putting that on the Lord. Ain't accepting, ignore, just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's got to be real big. I got to make it just for my kids and for their kids. It's kids, that's wealth years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out to finish this bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big. Job, that's real big. Satan trying a little my god is real big stayed up on the ground and the cars is real big i gotta do it big the only way that i can live
And I promise I'm trying to Before you count me out, homie, let me remind you They was blocking the shine, now I think it's my time too Careful them dollar signs, like lights, they'll blind you Let me rewind to Back when I was broke and I couldn't acquire two cents And now I got two rents They were sleeping on me, homie, must have got too big Call my phone, I be like, who this? Damn right, hell yeah, I'm brand new. Smell like can too. I'm fresh forever like canned food. Try and tell me what I can't do. I want to see the world, my vision on sham mood. I mean, I got goals that's real big. Foes that's real big. Your offer too little, sorry, my soul is real big. Coming into the ring with blows that's real big. I got to do it big. That's the only way I can live. What were you like today? Another Cloud 2 Classic? I'll stick with the usual. Maybe take a little bit off the sides. Oh, that's fresh. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Hey, watch your head. What sound experience would you like today? I'll have the fantasy pack. Good choice. And could you make it a Cloud 2 Wireless? On his way, sir. Sounds amazing. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Accept and ignore, just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's gotta be real big. I gotta make it just for my kids and for their kids. Just kids, that's wealth, years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out and finished his bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big, jobs that's real big. Satan trying a little, my God is real big. Stayed up on the grind on the cards is real big. I gotta do it big, the only way that I can live. Hey man, I just can't find a comfortable headset. I mean, I've tried everything. Literally everything. Jeez, my brother. I got you. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. That is comfortable. Yeah, I think too small, I got big dreams. You just start I'm way ahead at the end scenes. Started reading and dodging all of the quick schemes. Money like your Spotify, boy, I got 10 streams. And I'm still looking for more. My people, they got a saw, I'm putting that on the Lord. Ain't accepting, ignore, just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's gotta be real big. I gotta make it just for my kids and for their kids. Just kids, that's wealth, years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out and finished his bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big, jobs that's real big. Satan trying a little, my God is real big. Stayed up on the grind on the cards is real big. I gotta do it big, the only way that I can live. And I promise I'm trying to. Before you count me out, homie, let me remind you. They was blocking the shine, now I think it's my time too. Careful them dollar signs, like lights, they'll blind you. Let me rewind to. Back when I was broke and I couldn't acquire two cents. And now I got two rents. They were sleeping on me, homie, must have got too big. Call my phone, I be like, who this? Damn right, hell yeah, I'm brand new. Smell like can too. I'm fresh forever like canned food. Try and tell me what I can't do. I want to see the world, my vision on sham mood. I mean, I got goals that's real big. Foes that's real big. Your offer too little, sorry, my soul is real big. Coming into the ring with blows that's real big. I got to do it big. That's the only way I can live. What were you like today? Another Cloud 2 Classic? I'll stick with the usual. Maybe take a little bit off the sides. Oh, that's fresh. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Hey, watch your head. What sound experience would you like today? I'll have the fantasy pack. Good choice. And could you make it a Cloud 2 Wireless? On his way, sir. Sounds amazing. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Wow. Ain't accepting, ignore, just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's gotta be real big. I gotta make it just for my kids and for their kids. Just kids, that's wealth, years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out and finished his bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big, jobs that's real big. Satan trying a little, my God is real big. Stayed up 
on the grind on the cars is real big. I gotta do it big. The only way that I can live. Hey man, I just can't find a comfortable headset. I mean, I've tried everything. Literally everything. Easy, my brother. I got you. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Oh, that is comfortable. Y'all think too small, I got big dreams. You just starting, I'm way ahead at the end scenes. Started reading and dodging all of the quick schemes. Money like your Spotify, boy, I got 10 streams. And I'm still looking for more. My people, they got a saw, I'm putting that on the girls friends and family beyond the binary good evening and welcome to another ecac overwatch production tonight we have a very exciting matchup for you two teams with a perfect record going up against each other wichita state and boise state one's gonna end up with a pristine record the other one will be tarnished with one loss but before we get into that let allow me to introduce ourselves my name is warren jungle god hammond and once again i am joined on the mic by dividing how are you doing tonight I am extremely excited, Juggle God. I yeah. we have quite the game ahead of us today. Cause when we say that these teams have been perfect so far, we mean perfect. 4-0 yeah. so far in matches, 12-0 so far in maps for both teams. Wichita State wow. and Boise State have been completely dominant throughout the first half of this ECAC season. But for one of these teams, that is going to have to end. Yeah, that is true. And I can't wait to see how this is going to shape up. I imagine we are in store for an absolute banger of a match. Would be surprised if this goes all the way to map five, maybe even a map six. They have been known to happen. It has been known. And I'm sure that both these teams are extremely hungry to just be able to prove themselves against a team that they might see as like a similar caliber. Both Wichita and Boise State are both very well-respected uh, collegiate uh, organizations. Uh, Boise State especially, uh, doing a little bit of pre-game research. They placed top eight in the HUE Fest earlier this year that Harrisburg puts on with a bunch of really high-profile collegiate programs. Um, yeah. Wichita State plays in EGF, uh, and they've been doing very well over there. Both these teams... Uh, I think are teams that people are a little bit afraid of. So that makes us uh, lucky enough to witness this sort of marquee matchup here. Yeah, that it does. It's going to be an absolute blast to see both of these teams play. We're going to be starting out tonight on Busan and Sanctuary will be the sub map as well. A fantastic playground for Wrecking Balls as we see both teams hovering over that main tank in on right now. Yes, it, it, I am curious to see. Yeah, so the DPS differences is going to be the main difference right now. Fluffy but deadly on the side of Wichita State is on that somber pick. So it's going to be very important for the rest of Wichita State to be able to follow up on the hacks that he's able to put on to people like Plato and Nerdy Bird. Meanwhile, Boise State going a little more of the direct route with Gob on the soldier. Yeah, that they are slick. TWA doesn't find anything yet, but speaking of things being found, there is a pick on the Hanbe and TWA. Now both of them down via some excellent play from Gob right there on the soldier. At this point looking like it's gonna go over to Boise State as soon as they can finish up these last few staggers. Player and uh Trasher Lynn out of the fight. So this point gonna go handily in favor of Boise. And the Helix Rockets from Gob get insane value to start off. Three of them were used, two of them got kills, and we saw that third one get a player down to just an inch of life and got finished off pretty easily from that point forward. Dan Pli is just got back up from spawn to Wichita State, now looking to make their recontest here, but they're probably going to be playing into Tactical Visor. Yeah, that they are, and in the meantime, there's a wrecking ball and tracer in the back line of Wichita State causing all sorts of problems. Hanbei is down and out of the fight, but in the meantime, Wichita State has back capped, but it might not be that big of a deal for Boise State as they are definitely winning the fight right here. They're already up two to three members, so now all they have to do is just take care of what's happened on point. Yeah, it's just oh, it a couple of stragglers. It almost goes over. It almost goes over. I thought it went over, but Boise State is still in control. And now with most of their members back, they are going to be able to hold on to this point. 
And the ultimate advantage is so good for Boise State. They've been dominating these fights so far. And I mean, look at Trasher Lynn. I, just about 40% of the rally charge shows that Wichita State just hasn't had the opportunity to get close enough for that Brigida to get value. I mean, you can't do too much with just the whip shot, right? You have to be able to get up close, use your whip, uh, inspire, get the inspired going and the inspire healing. It's not happening right now. And now you're playing into almost six ultimates on Boise's side. Yeah, that you are. That is a dangerous place to be, especially with your Sombra out of the fight. That was one of the win conditions. Getting off a massive EMP could have been so beneficial to Wichita State, but it's not going to be anywhere to be found. Meanwhile, there are mines on point from Plato. Pulse Bomb comes in as well from Frost, and it finds Trasher Lynn. This looks like it's going to go handily the way of Boise State. As soon as they can finish off these last few staggers, TWA doing as much as they can to stay alive, but there's only so much one wrecking ball and one little mechanized hamster can do, and that is going to be Boise State coming away with the first map sub win. Yeah, just a couple of staggers left. Player trying to do whatever they can to get, keep that overtime tick burning, but as soon as this diva is dealt with, and they are, that will be it. Boise State with a dominant first showing on Busan there. Wichita State just never really had, they were never given the time they needed to really set up an engagement, right? They wanted to have a hack from Fluffy but Deadly and uh, use that hack to engage, to really kind of dive on top of them with the Wrecking Ball, with the diva, with the Tracer, and snowball a fight from there. Boise State always killed someone before they could do it. But now we move on to Mecha Base, where we see completely different strategies coming out. It's a lot more closed in, a lot more narrow hallways, which means that's where these brawl comps come out. Ryan, Diva, Cassidy, May, Baptiste, they all thrive in the close range battles, the sort of up in your face, trading blows kinds of things. That's what we're going to be seeing here. That certainly is. We're going to be seeing it break out on this high ground above the point initially. The classic place for these fights to happen. Both May walls are out. Gob goes down very low, but it's going to be TW8 out of the fight first once again. That's going to be a boon for Boise State. They're going to push forward now since there's no main tank to help stave off some of that aggression. Wisely, Wichita State decides to back off and they're just going to try and make sure that they don't feed too much old charge to Boise State. Yeah, you can't be losing your Reinhardt that early in these fights. You need that big rectangle of protection in order to make sure that you can sustain through the close range damage of this brawl. It didn't happen. No, it didn't. And now the shatter is blocked as well. Another thing that doesn't happen. Fluffy but Deadly goes down early, though, to some uh, D.Va from Nerdy Bird. Immortality field out now for both sides, as well as an amplification matrix uh, for ACU. But it's going to still come up the way of Boise State. There are a couple of picks in favor of Wichita, but it's not going to be enough to reverse the fortunes of their team. It's not. Nerdy Bird is out of mech, but has the re-mech ultimate online, so should just be a matter of time. Maybe looking for a, a sneaky re-mech squash? No, decides against it. So now Wichita State, they're coming back in, but they have some tools. DW8 has the Shatter online, and Dampley could potentially combo that in with the Diva Bomb. Really explosive combo available, but you have to watch out for Gob. That you do. Gob has this Death Blossom ready to go as we see them starting to teleport into the back line of Wichita State. They aren't able to quite get there. A little bit out of position. And in the meantime, there's a lot of aggression being put on the Boise State. You're not looking the for The sound him. barrier is there though. And he's able to sneak up and take out the rest of the members of Wichita State. Excellent play there from Gob. You've got to be watching your six there if you're Wichita State. Gob just walked up slowly. And no one turned around. Reaper has some of the loudest footsteps in the game because he's so dangerous when he's on the flank like that. No one from Wichita State turned around, and that might be the final nail in the coffin here for Wichita State. They have four ultimates online, but they don't have much time to set them up. No, that they don't, but they're going to be able to. They start out with this amplification matrix, and already AC is down and out of the fight. So Boise State only has the Lucio heals to rely on, and they already used that sound barrier last fight in order to take that win. Crasher Lynn uses theirs as well, and now there's a DMAC onto Nerdy Bird. Plato's out of the fight with a couple more picks. This is going to be Wichita State picking up their first control on Busan. 
It should Ooh, be, but Gob it should is be. still in the fight and actually has the Death Blossom back what? up. They weren't expecting it. That's two Death Blossoms in such a short period of time and that might have just turned things back. I think it absolutely did. I don't think anybody left from Wichita State can touch and that's going to be Boise State going up to an early 1-0 lead with a very convincing win on Busan. It was perfect. 200 to 0 on the side of Boise State. And this guy right here, Gob, absolutely took over the map on Mecha Base. Uh, I mean, Fluffy But Deadly was taken out early in so many of those engagements. And that is the main person that you're expecting to be able to deal with Gob. Reaper is extremely good in the close range situations, but you have to get up close first. And that's why you have that Cassidy player trying to make sure that you can take him out while he's still kind of in the mid-range and the shotguns aren't doing too much. When that Cassidy was taken out of the fight, it was pretty much free reign for the Reaper player to just get so much value. And man, he built up that second Death Blossom so quickly. There was no way Wichita was expecting that. No, I don't think there was. It caught me off guard for sure. Um, and, you know, that's our job to watch and pay attention to the game. So that was an excellent, excellent play and uh continue and and not just one play but an entire portion of play that led to that fantastic end for boise state i can't believe they were able to come back and take that win on that last fight that was truly incredible it was and for what was advertised here sort of a barn burner match between two of the top teams in ecac who have been undefeated so far boise have come out early and with a kind of a stamp of authority said we are the leaders here we are the ones to watch i am curious to see now where uh where wichita is going to try and go with this obviously losing a first map like that is extremely uh extremely demoralizing but uh they are going to put their second map hopes on junker town which tells me that they're going to want to try and swap things up almost completely yeah, lots of different looks that you can have on Junker Town. Um, it's a good place for double shield. You can run ball comps on it. You can even do brawl if you really want to. But I think uh, those two compositions typically fare a little bit better on Junker Town. And you know what, uh, too? I just have to um, make this note. Boise State has continued to maintain their pristine record. They have not dropped a map yet but unfortunately now for uh wichita state that is their first l so it is going to be up to us now to see you know how they come back from literally the first map loss for them of the season yeah it's not a feeling that wichita state is used to at least uh in the ecac burst um right but i do believe in this uh in this organization to but to really I mean, these guys are veterans of the scene. They've been a part of Wichita for a while, a lot of them, and uh, they have taken L's before. So yeah. I definitely would not want to count Wichita State out just yet, uh, especially with the way that Junkertown has these super long sight lines. There's no mm -hmm. reason for you to pick Junkertown, like prefer it over any other escort map, unless you are very confident in a sniper player. So I'm going to be keeping an eye on yeah. Wolfie But Deadly and I think player as well, seeing which one is going to come out with maybe that Ash, that Widowmaker, because if you have a really good sniper player, they can take over on Junkertown. They certainly can. You know, it's not unusual to see a first point hold, as a matter of fact, either. If you can really mount a strong defense there, you can keep them from seeing the street space or even that long curly Q third as well uh, with the fidget spinner there. So yeah, this is, this is going to be really, really fascinating to watch. And Boise State going to opt for the defense first this time. And interesting composition they're running out with, but Gob crucially is on that Widow like you were predicting. Yeah, and Wichita State, what they're currently running out with is not a double sniper comp player currently on that Tracer. Fluffy but deadly on the Hanzo to try and match Frost. But there's not going to be anyone that's really going to be directly countering Gob right now. It's kind of going to be up the player to try and get into the back and put pressure on that Widowmaker. Or else she's going to have so much free uh, free value on, especially on these sort of big headbox, uh, slow moving targets like Hanbei and Trashulin. And Fluffy but Deadly, who goes down immediately and forces an early res out of Trashulin. Wow, yeah. Being able to take that out early on is a fantastic 
thing for Wichita State. They have got this card moving now, and I think another thing that's interesting that we haven't mentioned yet is the compositions they're both running. I wouldn't be surprised if you had told me that these two were completely swapped and we were seeing the double shield on defense and this ball sig on offense, but they've each opted to uh, kind of swap things around, at least in my expectation, so that's very fascinating. Not a whole lot of uh, card progress yet. Plato has gone down very low, so they have to back out and try to get healed back up. But Wichita State just now back to the point where they can take control of the cart again. And God, <laughs> crucially taken out by Fluffy Butt Deadly with a phenomenal headshot. Takes that Storm Marrow right through their face. And now uh, it's just going to continue on. Uh, Frost, though, removed from the fight as well. So no snipers for either side. And now between the tracer and the ball ends with the ball going down this time around and wichita state looking pretty decent right now on this attack they've already got it very close to the gates of street space yeah and nerdy bird is going to try and get a touch it is not going to happen so wichita state are going to take the first one to junk town in a pretty quick fashion even though we're going both ways the spawn advantage on the side of wichita should allow them to keep things moving forward in a bit but Actually, a large bagel in the back here has been kind of going unnoticed and has just been getting hot <laughs> shots off. Have fun. The members of Wichita State trying to come out of spawn. When are they going to deal with this guy? No one's looking at him. Oh my gosh. Uh, finally, he's picked out by Hanbei, another one of the supports from Wichita State takes them down. So now Boise State going to be forced back just a little bit. Plato has these mines though, and I'm going to anticipate we see them used as soon as Wichita State has kind of committed to this fight. Gamply trying to throw a little bit of damage up there to discourage Wrecking Ball from coming in. But now their attention is split between the back line and the front end. That is not a place that you want to be. You don't want to have to be switching your head back and forth like that. Plato gets taken down, though, before they're able to get to that mega health pack. So now Wichita State looking pretty good, especially with this amplification matrix online and getting so much damage and healing first through it. Hanbei forced out of the high ground momentarily, but Wichita State is still getting the kills. And this cart really hasn't stopped moving yet. I don't think we can count Wichita State out of this. Yeah, Frost in the back here with the Dragon Strike online. Boise State has wisely been holding on to their ultimate. So now Plato's going to try and come on for a contest. And Boise State are going to try and use their ultimates to get back into this. But they need more bodies on the point. That they do, and two of them are already down. Frost is out of the fight, as is a large bagel. But Plato, crucially, was able to get Dampley out of the fight. So, with this rally online from ACU, uh, this looks promising for Boise State to be able to hold. Dampley has respawned now, so they should be returning to the fight. Uh, but once again, Wichita State able to get the better of Boise on this attack. Um, as long as they can take Plato out of this fight, this should be their point for the taking. As long as more reinforcements don't come back in. Yeah, it's taken him a while to deal with Plato here, and that has allowed Frost time to get a pick off. But now, finally, second point is acquired, and Boise State honestly used every ultimate in their arsenal to try and deal, uh, try and get back into the fight, try and uh, hold just outside of point B. It didn't happen. So now look at the ult charges. There is almost nothing coming out of Boise State. Now, there are a bunch of swaps. They're moving on to mash the double shield, and Gob is on the Doom Fist, so it's going to be a lot more of a close-range fight. It takes down player instantly. Yeah, but crucially, Gob was removed as well. Stormbow from Hanzo takes them out. The res comes in as well onto player, so now Boise State a little worse for wear. Fluffy but deadly gets a nice dragon strike through a couple of the tanks of Wichita State as well. Dampley falls, and... Now it's a uh, 5v5, so this really could go either way. Gob trying to find a little value in the back line now. Yeah, but Fluffy But Deadly is continuing to find value here. You have to try and deal with this Hanzo right now if you're Boise State because the Hanzo is hot and it is a very difficult to deal with a Hanzo that just doesn't this. Meanwhile, player in the back has gotten a pulse bomb off on the Nerdy Bird and Wichita State are moving in towards the end of this map with the supercharger from TW8 and probably the uh, the Gravitic Flux from Dampley coming up soon, as well as the Valve from Trasherlin that comes out now. Yeah, the Immortality Field has to be used as well, but crucially, Gob is out of the fight. A large Bagel does find Hanbei, though, so now it's just these heals 
from Mercy, but the res is successful and Hanbei is back in the fight. Frost now trying to find a little bit of value on the low ground here, pushing away the rest of the members of Wichita State. Boise State looks like they're going to be able to hold on and at least catch their breath for a moment. A large bagel has been completely popping off on Zenyatta right now. That pick on the Hanbei was massive, but it's what ended up allowing Boise State to uh, stabilize here. And now they've had enough time to get some ultimates online. Frost has the high noon online, is going to keep people away for a little bit. That's actually kind of big. It's going to give a large bagel time to respawn here. They can re-engage with a 6v6 before Wichita State can move in super fast. They are of slow composition, but they have five bullets. That they do. One of them already expended those minefields going on to discourage Hanbei from taking that high ground. Now we see Dampley trying to knock out other members of um, Boise State, but they're just unable to. Hard getting a little bit closer, but Boise State firmly in control of this fight right now. And it seems Wichita State has really run up against the wall. They don't know how to knock down right now. They're having so much trouble dealing with taking over this high ground that Boise State just has a stranglehold over right now. When they think they have a chance, Plato just comes rolling in on the wrecking ball, knocking them all around, pile driving them up, setting setting the stage for Gob and a large bagel, bagel and frost to just go in on them. But Wichita State. They've been dying so fast that they haven't really had the chance to use that many ultimates. So they still have four in this fight. That they do. They have used the supercharger now. So a lot of damage coming out, but ACU is able to take it out of the fight. The mortality field is gone as well, but ACU is crucially still out. And Nerdy Bird gets an excellent Gravitic Flux right there. That's gonna finish this fight. And now there's less than a minute for Wichita State to try and finish capturing this point. And it that's that was it for wichita state they used three of their four ultimates they had so much damage boosting potential in that fight with the ant matrix and the supercharger online and it was all undone by a single gravity flex from nerdy bird now you just have a dragon strike and a dream from fluffy for roughly but deadly and you have to play into the mines the transcendence and the high noon Oh, and the minefield comes out. There's an immortality field. But Plato bit off a little more than he could chew, and the storm arrows let him know that. Now, Boise is down one member. Crucially, their main tank as well. But Dampley gets d very, very quickly, and that's a very big deal for Wichita State as well. But an excellent dragon strike coming in from Fluffy, but deadly. They've got new life in them. And now Gob trying to deal with them as best they can, but there's only so much they can do from the high ground. Take that back. There's a lot they can do from the high ground as they're able to take two Gob. members out with that pulse rifle. And Boise State gonna be able to hold on here at the 11th hour and keep Wichita from capping, but they have made it very far. And this is not an easy point to cap. It is not. I gotta say, Gob, yeah, go ahead. Take a seat right there. That was some imp impressive tracer tracking from the dps player of the broncos uh but you're absolutely right wichita state might not have been able to finish the map but they sure did get close and part of the reason why wichita state were trapped at the end of the map for so long was because the end of junker town is extremely difficult to capture because the defender spawn is right outside of that point and uh, being able to get just outside of that end point of the map, it's almost as good as getting all the way. Uh, now it is, of course, up to Boise State to try and match them. They gave Wichita State a lot of space on their attack, and I'm pretty sure they are going to be looking to equalize on their side. Wichita State, for their part, are going to be running same DPS combo, which is fair, Fluffy but Deadly and Player both got a lot of value, but... Uh, TW8 is going to try and mirror Plato's Wrecking Ball, and Dampley is going to be on the D.Va. So we're looking for a little bit more uh, aggression coming out from this tank duo, especially TW8 just trying to uh, knock up and disrupt Boise State here, uh, especially Gob. You can't leave Gob alone at this point. You have to recognize that like this is the guy that uh, has been doing a ton of work into our team and popping off at clutch times. We have to have someone that's always like on gob patrol. <laughs> You're yeah, that's a very good point. Um and I imagine that's probably part of the part of the justification for her swapping to this wrecking ball defense as well. They know that Gob is one of the win conditions for Boise State. They were able to take a large bagel out of the fight early on, but he's already respawned. 
Gob now trying to take this Tracer out, uh, at least keep them out of the back line for the time being as they start to get this cart moving. I like this uh, interesting um, this interesting matchup, Wrecking Ball versus Wrecking Ball. There's gonna be a lot of value that I think both of these Brigitos are gonna have to give for their team and keeping their Zen Yadas alive because Zen can be so powerful. That classic glass cannon character, that glass cannon hero, so vital to this composition. TW8 is uh, fallen as well, so Boise State gonna be able to keep this cart moving. Um, and Wichita's not putting up too much of a fight just yet. A couple more picks coming in for Boise, as a matter of fact. And now Frost has their sights set on Zenyatta, but they're not quite able to finish the job. And once again, Fluffy but Deadly coming out and finding some value. Now Boise State looking a little worse for wear after the reinforcements from Wichita get to point. Yeah, but you've got to touch, though. You're still losing members quickly, and there's a contest coming out. A uh, player trying his best by taking out a large bagel, but it's pretty much just Trash or Lynn right now. And it seems like Boise State should be able to take care of the stragglers and take this first point. They have the spawn advantage still in this point. Yes, they do take it at a very fast pace. You lost TW8 early in that fight. That's your main initiator in this comp, and it is so difficult to be able to aggress onto the other team when you lose them early. And once again, Wrecking Ball back in spawn. Look at the mine uh, ult charge between Play-Doh and TW8. TW8 spent so much time in spawn that he's very much losing on that ult charge. Yeah, that they are. Plato is really primed now, as is the rest of Boise State, to take this next fight. They have the Pulse Bomb. They've got the Minefield. They may even get Gravitic Flux online, depending on how much damage Nerdy Bird, uh, Nerdy Bird can do. Tracer fight breaking out now towards the Wichita State side of things. God layering in a little bit of damage. Gets the Sonic Arrow out there, along with the Storm Arrows to... Take a little peek, see what's there. Fluffy but deadly out of the fight once again. And here comes the minefield. Excellent headshot. Two from Gob lands a tree trunk right through player's face. Self-destruct coming in, but it's not going to find anybody. And now Wichita State starting to respawn. Boise needs to get these last few picks out of the way, and they're trying as hard as they can to do just that. But TW8 has a lot of health and these minefields. He found the mega health pack as well. And now Plato's the one forced away. But look at the picks for Boise State. Despite TWA staying on board, on point, it's only going to last for so long, and Boise State captures with a healthy time bank. Yeah, I know we talked about how Junkertown is this defensive powerhouse, and it's so difficult to be able to go all the way through, uh, but holding here for five minutes is a tough ask in any scenario. Uh, so Wichita State have got to pull off the defensive hold of... Uh, of the game right now if they want to be able to uh, tie up this series already. Uh, Fluffy but Deadly has swapped onto the Cassidy. I think as a direct counter to Play-Doh has been playing so aggressive and has been getting such little punishment for it so far. So that flashbang is going to stop him, going to force him to play with a little bit more respect. But now Gob is going to have pretty much uncontested uh, long range uh, shooting uh, because no one can really do anything about it. Yeah, you're absolutely right. There's no one contesting them right now at all. Uh, Fluffy but Deadly is nowhere to be found, at least near that Hanzo. But they've likely got their hands full trying to deal with Plato on the Wrecking Ball. But it's a large bagel who gives problems to player first. Fluffy but Deadly out of the fight with ACU taking out their doppelganger. This is looking very, very good for Boise State. They are right on the cusp of victory. Can anyone from Wichita State even touch Wrecking Balls on the high ground? But they don't make it in time. Boise State going up two to zero. And Wichita State, I think they got scared, honestly. That third point Junker Town should not be over in one fight, right? There's so much high ground for the defense to take advantage of that you should at least be able to get a fight at the beginning or in the middle of the of the card as it's going around that U-turn of the map. But Wichita State, they were playing defensively they were playing trying to play reactively to what uh, Boise State were trying to do and because of that they just ceded so much space to the point where mm -hmm. Boise only really had to win one fight and they had already won the map that's just can't how that's just not how you play uh, those wrecking ball compositions you have to be fast you have to be playing for the engages and I think if you wanted to play defensively reactively there needed to be more wholesale swaps to better suit that play style
I think you're right. You know, maybe, maybe, uh, maybe you keep the wrecking ball in to try and deal with God, but maybe you go for something a little bit more tanky. You know, maybe, uh, maybe throw in a Sigma with something like a Baptiste instead of, you know, just trying to run this Brig Zen lineup on defense, because if you're not getting value through your aggression, then there's really nothing keeping at bay what the other team can throw at you. So, Wichita State now down 0-2. Uh, to two. The only way they come back in this series is through a reverse sweep. So they have got a big heel ahead of them. But Boise State have to be feeling strong. And uh, they uh, they are such a powerhouse. Uh, this year, the entire season uh, across all of their all of their playing, they have gone 25 and four, only taking four losses in yeah. any of the tournaments they are in. So that's that's just absolutely incredible. And it looks like Wichita State has elected to go visit the Cherry Blossoms of Japan and try and stage their final defense here on Hanamura. What may be their final defense, I should say. I don't hate the pick from Wichita State, I have to say. I think if I'm in the... Uh, Wichita State group call right now and I'm their coach I'm saying let's try and take it off of wrecking ball mirrors it did not work very well on Busan Shrine it did not work very well on Junker Town there were points in uh, Busan Mecha Base where you were playing Brawl Mirrors where it was looking like you might have been able to win a couple of fights there it was at least looking better so right. I think uh, trying to take things off of the wrecking ball where it seems like Boise definitely has you beat uh, is the right way to go. Uh, Hanamura is better for the brawl. It's better for the double shield wrecking ball has a bit of trouble. So I am pretty, I'm pretty okay with it, especially because uh, especially because it will allow Wichita to kind of play to their strengths. Yeah, you're absolutely right. And another thing that I think is interesting to note is that the the most success we saw from Wichita State so far, which was very substantial, was when they were not on the mirror comp, right? When they yeah. were forcing some kind of a disparity between what both teams were running. So if they can stay away from the mirror comp and see if perhaps they can just beat Boise State with a with a composition difference, that might be one of their routes to victory. But only time is going to tell. Yeah, it seems pretty clear at this point that if you run the mirror more often than not, Boise State is probably going to win. Uh, they have some insane players. That is true to me now. A large bagel, Gob, uh, Plato. They have all been insane for this team. And honestly, I think at this point, you've got to be trying to play comps specifically meant to counter uh, Boise State. If you run the mirror, you probably just lose to the pure mechanical talent of these players. If you play a comp that is meant to counter their comp, well, then I think you have a chance. Yeah, I would agree. So that's that's a, that's what I'm going to be looking for from Wichita State coming out, and it's going to be I it's going to be curious to see whether they're going to be on defense or attack first, because you know normally you like to go on defense first, but if you're on attack first. That means you have the opportunity to counter swap, right? You can send someone out to scout initially, take a look at what they have, and then be like, great, they're running this, we run that. Yeah, absolutely. And I do want to mention that being able to go on attack first, I'd say actually isn't the worst idea in this scenario. Usually you want to be on defense first so that you can uh, try and get off of their defense and set the wing condition for yourself on your attack. So you know how far you have to make it. But I think what Wichita State needs at this point is a shot of morale, right? They need to mm -hmm. have like that dose of success to be like, okay, we are a good team. We can hang with these guys. We can beat them. And I think the easiest way to do that is going to be to go on that attack first, get a strong attacking win over Boise State and, uh, then you can start riding that morale and snowballing it into uh, a point win, a map win, a second map win. And who knows how far we can go from there. Boise State right. are still completely undefeated in Wichita. I'm sure are still yeah. itching to give them that first loss. Yeah, no, I bet that's got to be a bucket them in the back of their heads just a little bit. But they are such a strong team. I know that they have it in them to come back in this and give it a great shot. As we head into game, we're going to take 
a look at what both of these teams are running out for. And we do have Boise State on the defense. So um, Wichita State is going to have that opportunity to counterpick if they so desire. Boise State running out with this double shield look and crucially a Torbjorn in there as well. That's going to mitigate any kind of dive pressure that Wichita State may want to try and apply. If Wichita State stay on this sort of Symmetra teleport brawl comp, I don't hate it. I think this could actually get a lot of value on the side of on the side of Wichita right now because Boise State is currently playing just such a slow composition. If you just teleport to the point, get on there, set up with Maywalls and Symmetra, uh, Symmetra turrets, then you know Boise State is gonna have to take some time to rotate around to really contest you. Oh, but Wichita State going for the TP strat. They're already set up on point. They have the car wash in order. Those turrets are set up and ready to go. They've got one tick on the board already. Boise State going to have to eventually try and touch. Fortify has been used by Plato, but it's not going to be enough to allow them to get a purchase on the point. One pick, though, does come through. Fluffy Buddy is out of the fight, and now this may be the dam breaking, the levee breaking, and the waterfall crashing through. And that's going to be Boise State retaking control of this point. But... Crucially, Wichita has two ticks on the board. And by the way, we never mentioned this, but we do have a sub on the side of Boise State. Kel comes in for Gob. We, Gob has gotten a ton of uh, recognition from us so far this game, but Kel proving that definitely they're definitely not a uh, any uh, pushover either with those two kills on that fight. But 30 Bird goes down early. There's no Sigma for Boise State. What happened there? I, yeah. I don't know, but this is a 5v6 and Wichita State are going to take advantage. Yeah, that they are. They're going to push you really hard and fast. Fortify once again has to be used by Plato. They've gone down dangerously. Leo ACU is out of the fight as well, but there are a couple of picks. It's not all doom and gloom for Boise State, but the point has been captured. So now they've got to just try and die as quick as they can and set up a strong defense on point two. And this is exactly what Wichita State needed. I don't know what happened to Nerdy Bird. I really want to know what happened there. They just fell off the map, I guess, by accident. That's that's absolute disaster for Boise State. Now, Wichita uh, were able to just get up onto point. You needed that, that Sigma as the main person to be kind of tiptoeing on and off the point. Now, Wichita are going to try and snowball this. Yeah, that they are, and they've got a great start. The Amplification Matrix already out, but look at how quick they have fallen to the TAC visor from Cal. Showing once again, like you said, that he is just the equal of Gob. A very quick fight from Boise State, aided definitely on by the fact that they used four ultimates there just to make sure that the snowball wasn't th wasn't through, and Wichita State still got a pick. This... This comp has done such a good job so far this fight of just rushing on the point really fast, forcing Boise State away, and just stealing away ticks. Now Wichita State, they're going to be coming back with Shatter, Blizzard, Beat, probably some Metro Wall as well. Uh, so they have plenty of tools to try and get a quick win here. That they do, but they're going to have to get through Frost Molten Core as well, which has been littered all over the entryway, the main choke. And now with Plato getting aggressive, Wichita State going to be forced to back off and regroup. Good uh, timing there from Frost. A Molten Core is a great counter to this Brawl comp. It can get so much damage on all six players because they all tend to want to play super bunched up. But... Now Wichita State, they smartly didn't use anything, and this is going to be a six ultimate fight from them against just a gravitic flux of Nerdy Bird. Yeah, and here it comes though, it could be big. Kello's already got a pick or two, but there's about half of the point now ticked over in favor of Wichita State, so they did get a little bit more progress, but at what cost? It was way too much cost for what they got. They used four ultimates all at once, but Boise State were super smart. None of them were on the point. The Blizzard got nothing. And then the Gravitic Flux from Nerdy Bird, that one ultimate ended up finding more value than any of the four ultimates that Wichita State used because it pulled them up, it opened them up for uh, for spam damage from a large bagel and ACU and Frost. It was incredible from them. But now Wichita State, they have the bomb and the beat still available to them. They are probably gonna wanna use the beat to engage here. But Boise State has the portals. Yeah, that they do. They've already disrupted that brawl composition just a little bit of Wichita State's, but they weren't able to get any picks. Plato now looking for some kind of disruption opportunity. Here comes the self-destruct launched onto the point, and it is going to catch Kel. 
crucially Nerdy Bird out of the fight as well. So this is the best opportunity that Wichita State has had so far, but they've got to get around this minefield that Plato has laid on the point, and they don't. The main support and main tank go down, and now a large bagel and ace. You are able to just clean up the rest of the point, and Wichita State doesn't get any more progress. That's incredible. Wichita State had six ultimates a couple minutes ago. Now they have nothing, and they have gotten maybe 10% of the point to show for it. Boise State have done a fantastic job of just taking the aggression of the ultimates, bending but not breaking, and then coming back with just one ultimate of their own and getting way more value than Wichita State did. Now, Boise State, they are in control of the ultimate economy right now with both Molten Core and uh, Meteor Strike available. Wichita State are getting pretty close to their DPS ults now. And here comes that Molten Core. He's stunned out of it at the last moment, but the damage is already done as Boise State is able to capitalize on that opening and just delete most of the members of Wichita State. There's now just a minute and a half left, but that is enough time for Wichita State to build up another bank of ultimates. And it's actually looking pretty decent for this fight. It is looking decent. You're going to have High Noon. You're going to have Blizzard. You're going to have Shatter as well. You have all the tools that you need. You just can't blow it early like you have been doing so far. You have to go in, try and uh, sort of take stock of the situation and how you can best use those ultimates, especially player. That Blizzard could be massive, but you can't be using it early. No, you can't. Here comes the Nano Boost onto Cal. The Meteor Strike is in. They've got it planned out, and it is big. They're able to take out three members. Make that 4K for Cal. And Wichita State is done once again, and now there's less than a minute on the clock. I mean, what do you do there? That is so difficult to deal with a Nano Boosted Doom Fist inside a small corridor no one can see him because he's just running all over your team punching one person into a wall seismic slamming them into the dirt that's so difficult now wichita state they had almost five minutes on the clock it's down to 20 seconds this is their last chance they have ultimates but they've had ultimates this whole time that they have in a huge anti need it catches all six members of wichita state immortality field has to be used but so many people are so low it's just not gonna matter as a large bagel hits the largest nade I have seen in a long time to just open up this defense. Boise State gonna hold on, but crucially, Wichita able to get about one and a half ticks. They have gotten one and a half ticks, so we're not going to be seeing Dranamura today, but what an impressive defense from Boise State. They faced many, many situations where they had the ultimate disadvantage, where Wichita State by all means should have won they had man advantages at times too, but they came up clutch when they needed to. They had the individual plays. This team is just so talented. And Boise State are primed now to keep the streak alive at 5-0 and in matches, 15-0 uh, and in maps. All that's separating them from that very impressive scoreline is 1 point and 51.3%. Uh, I would be surprised if we saw Arisa Bastion, but hey, uh, maybe maybe <laughs> Boise State are kind of in like victory lap mode. Yeah, it's possible that they could be, but uh, don't uh, don't catch your chickens before they hatch. Wichita State has a plan, and it includes two shields and a pharmacy in the sky. And we've seen how deadly fluffy but deadly can be on the ground, so I'm excited to see what the air has in store for them as well. It's a composition that we haven't seen Wichita State play yet today, which I think is what they need in this situation. You need to just throw something completely different at Boise State, something that they might not be expecting, and try and force them to deal with it. Now, I, though, I'm going to be keeping an eye out on this DPS duel of Kellen Frost on Boise State. The plan is definitely to teleport Bastion to some unconventional position so that he can get value there. And I can't wait to see what their plan is with that. Oh, yeah, that looks like they're going for the high ground, but TW8 was able to find Nerdy Bird initially, and the Rock comes in as well onto Kellen. They have to back off, so the plan doesn't go off without a hitch this time. In fact, it goes off pretty uh, unfortunately for Boise State, but they're still trying to make something of it. They're still trying to Bloody? rally and come around, but an excellent nay from Hanbei makes TWA back up considerably. And now they're just at about the point where Boise State has regrouped. Hanbei getting very aggressive, fluffy but deadly on the outside, trying to find ACU. 
but he's just hopping to and fro like a frog. He's got um, barrage. And he's ready to go with it. Yeah, can he find value with it? Kel getting a little bit closer to point out, but crucially, they've got to stay alive. And TWA's out of the fight. ACU has popped now. There's the barrage. It catches three, four members right before Frost is able to take him out of the fight. And that's going to be Wichita State holding on to point one. It definitely should be. There are a couple of members of Wichita sort of hanging around. I'm pretty sure Nerdy Bird is still just sort of uh, hiding from the rest of Wichita State right now. At, no, Nerdy Bird seems to have... Uh, no, oh, actually, there, look, there they there are. There they are. Oh, uh, Dampley has Dampley's found him. Found so him. Can you get this stagger? It'd be such a big what? stagger. And they do. That's going to take another 15 seconds off the clock here. And now Boise State, they've been forced to take things a little bit more seriously now. Two minutes already off the time bank here. And Kel has swapped onto the Cassie to try and deal with Fluffy, but Deadly built up that uh, barrage so quickly is a true threat in the air right now. That they are. They can't be ignored anymore. Boise State giving them the respect that they deserve right now. And look at that. Almost gets a, a might have been a direct onto a large bagel. Gets that the name, was. but they're there to finish them off again. So without a large bagel, this um, attack is going to be very, very difficult to maintain. There is one pick, but it's only on to Bob. And now Wichita State just deleting the rest of Boise State. But... Boise State's going to have a healthy old bank for the next fight, but maybe not as healthy as what Wichita State has. A large bagel has been an incredible force on this uh, Boise State team so far on the Zenyatta and on the Ana, but so far it has been just easy pickings for Fluffy but Deadly, and without the Ana in, this, in these fights, it is so difficult to sustain. All of a sudden, we are in a 1 minute 20 second scenario. Boise State probably has two fights left in them, and Wichita has five ultimates online. They're in a very good position. Yeah, but Kyle has removed Trasher Lynn from the fight, so there's no more resurrection on board. A couple of picks coming in now in favor of Boise State. That supercharger still alive and well. Plato, though, looking a little bit low, but ACU is able to find Hanbei as well. And now with no supports left for Wichita State, they've only got the health that's left to them, and it's not going to last very long. Boise State got to be able to come back in this and take control of first point. And I don't think Wichita State's going to have a shot at staggering out this point. And Kel, the substitute DPS, comes up clutch for this Boise State squad. Losing the Mercy early is the worst case scenario for Wichita. Fluffy but Deadly loses almost all of his potency. And, uh, and you don't have the res now to try and get up uh, whoever gets picked off first. Wichita State now forced the swap onto their own Cassidy because the far is a lot more limited in second point because of that closed in ceiling. Wichita still has the Supercharger and the Valkyrie available to them, but Boise State are looking to end this now. That they are. Cal has this Deadeye ready to go. And another huge anti-nade, but a large bagel pays for it with their life. They're going to try and use the Gravitic Flux regardless. There's the Supercharger. Fortifies used by TWA to drop him out of the ground. There's a pick on either side, and that's definitely going to favor Wichita State right now as a Nerdy Bird is knocked off the point and i don't know if boise state's going to be able to get a tick onto this border if they're going to have to just back off and try again um as picks still keep coming in in favor of wichita state yeah a large bagel goes in extremely aggressively there, trying to set up the rest of his team with an anti-nade play but unfortunately it was not enough as you get uh found out and taken down boise state doing sorry wichita state doing a much better job of checking their corners but not in this oh. case player Oh, just very much barely got away from that one. You have to be careful. Frost has that pulse bomb. And honestly, Boise State with 51.3% left. All they all they need is one really good fight to win this series. And they have a couple chances to do so. You've got to be watching your six for Frost right now. That you do. Amplification Matrix used in conjunction with the Supercharger is going to mean damage for days for Boise State. As they're able to get one pick, but crucially Cal is out of the fight as well and now Boise State desperately needs to get a couple more picks on the board Frost tries to use the pulse bomb but it is negated by the immortality field of Hanbei and now with a large bagel out of the fight Nerdy Bird falling as well that's probably going to be it for this push for Boise State but like you said they were crucially able to get one tick they only have to get half more of a tick but they've only got a minute and a half to do it Yes, but now Wichita State has to be so much more careful about the point. It is 
easily c 9 right now if you end up in a situation where a couple people from Boise State just get on for a couple of seconds and Wichita State's a little bit slow. Uh, it's probably going to come down to Dampley in this composition to drop down when someone from Boise State puts pressure onto the point. You have Bob as well from player that could do that, but that Bob doesn't stay around forever. No, Bob doesn't. He's only there for a little while. Once again, we've got the amplification matrix from ASU. Here's the soup. Here's the nano boost from a large bagel. There's two picks on the board, and that's going to do it. Boise State takes the dub. Three to zero. They maintain their spotless and pristine record. And Wichita State takes their first loss. Congratulations, though, to Boise State. Phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal play against another top team in this tournament. I, I mean, of course, great play from Boise State there. They absolutely deserve the win in this matchup. I'm just a little confused here, Juggle God. I was talking about how you probably wanted to have the Sigma to be the one to contest the point when someone got in there. And that's because uh, Sigma is pretty survivable. He has his own shield that he can play behind. He has uh, his uh, ability that allows him to gain extra shields. Uh, you can put Sigma on a point by himself and count on him to stay alive for at least a little bit. Instead, it was the Brigida player that was on the point trying to deal with the Tracer by herself. And I, I just don't agree with that decision from Wichita. You need that Brigida up on the top with the rally going off, getting that all-important healing off on the rest of your team. And Brigida is fairly fragile when she's isolated out. So when uh, Trasher Lynn got taken out of the fight, uh, we ended up in that situation that I had just talked about where everyone uh, where everyone from Boise State just kind of went on to the point. No one from Wichita was fast enough to react to it. And before we knew it, Boise State had taken the win. Yeah, they snuck it out uh, from under me. I didn't even notice that they were on point yet. I was so focused in on what was happening with that amplification matrix and Arissa and Baptiste um, up on that high ground that I didn't even notice they had the point presence in that Boise State or rather Wichita State hadn't gone down to contest. So uh, that happened so fast, and that's exactly what you want to do in this game. Overwatch is not a slow game. You've got you've to react and react quickly. You have to react extremely quickly. But Boise State had come out swinging today. They have proved themselves as probably the front runner in ECAC right now. We are now three quarters of the way through the regular season. Uh, Boise State are completely perfect. And I mean, I just want to go in and talk to a member of this team, see how they're feeling, see how long they think the streak can go. So don't go anywhere. We're going to set up an interview with a member of Boise State and come back in a couple of minutes. Lord, ain't accepting, ignore, just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's got to be real big. I got to make it just for my kids and for their kids. It's kids, that's wealth, years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out and finished his bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big. Job, that's real big. Satan trying a little, my God, is real big. Stayed up on the grind on the cards, is real big. I got to do it big. The only way that I can live. And I promise I'm trying to Before you count me out, homie, let me remind you They was blocking the shine, now I think it's my time to Count for them dollars to light lights, they'll blind you Let me rewind to Back when I was broke and I couldn't acquire two cents And now I got two rents They were sleeping on me, homie, must have got too big Call my phone, I be like, who this? Damn right, hell yeah, I'm brand new Smell like can too I'm fresh forever like canned food Try and tell me what I can't do I wanna see the world, my vision on sham mood I mean I got goals that's real big Foes that's real big, your offer too little Sorry, my soul is real big Coming into the ring with blows that's real big I gotta do it big, that's the only way I can live What were you like today? Another Cloud 2 Classic? I'll stick with the usual. Maybe take a little bit off the sides. Oh, that's fresh. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Hey, watch your head. What sound experience would you like today? I'll have the fantasy pack. Good choice. And could you make it a Cloud 2 Wireless? On its way, sir.
Sounds amazing. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Wow. Ain't accepting, ignore, just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's got to be real big. I got to make it just for my kids and for their kids. It's kids, that's wealth, years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out to finish this bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big. Job, that's real big. Say trying a little, my God, is real big. Stayed up on the grind on the cars, is real big. I got to do it big. The only way that I can live. Hey, man, I just can't find a comfortable headset. I mean, I've tried everything. Literally everything. Easy, my brother. I got you. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Oh, that is comfortable. Y'all think too small, I got big dreams. You just starting, I'm way ahead at the end scenes. Started reading and dodging all of the quick schemes. Money like your Spotify, boy, I got 10 streams. And I'm still looking for more. My people, they got a sore, I'm putting that on the Lord. Ain't accepting, ignore, just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's got to be real big. I got to make it just for my kids and for their kids. Just kids, that's wealth, years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out to finish this bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big. Job, that's real big. Satan trying to little my god is real big stayed up on the ground and the cars is real big i gotta do it big the only way that i can live and i promise i'm trying to before you count me out homie let me remind you they was blocking the shine now i think it's my time to careful them dollar signs like lights they'll blind you let me rewind to back when i was broken i couldn't acquire two cents and now i got two wrists they were sleeping on me homie must have got too big Call my phone, I'll be like, who this? Damn right, hell yeah, I'm brand new. Smell like can too. I'm fresh forever like can food. Try and tell me what I can't do. I want to see the world, my vision on sham mood. I mean, I got goals that's real big. Foes that's real big. Your offer too little, sorry, my soul is real big. Coming into the ring with blows that's real big. I got to do it big. That's the only way I can live. What were you like today? Another Cloud 2 Classic? I'll stick with the usual. Maybe take a little bit off the sides. Oh, that's fresh. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Hey, watch your head. What sound experience would you like today? I'll have the Fantasy Pack. Good choice. And could you make it a Cloud 2 Wireless? On his way, sir. Sounds amazing. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Wow. Ain't accepting, ignore, just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's got to be real big. I gotta make it just for my kids and for their kids. Just kids, that's wealth, years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out to finish this bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big, job that's real big. Satan trying a little, my God is real big. Stayed up on the grind on the cars is real big. I gotta do it big, the only way that I can live. Hey man, I just can't find a comfortable headset. I mean, I've tried everything. Literally everything. Easy, my brother. I got you. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Oh, that is comfortable. Y'all think too small, I got big dreams. You just starting, I'm way ahead at the end scenes. Started reading and dodging all of the quick schemes. Money like your Spotify, boy, I got 10 streams. And I'm still looking for more. My people, they got a sore, I'm putting that on the Lord. Ain't accepting, ignore, just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's got to be real big. I got to make it just for my kids and for their kids. Just kids, that's wealth, years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out to finish this bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real. Job that's real big. Satan trying a little. My God is real big. Stayed up on the ground on the cars is real big. I gotta do it big. The only way that I can live. And I promise I'm trying to. Before you count me out, homie, let me remind you. They was blocking the shine. Now I think it's my time to. Careful them dollar signs like lights. They'll blind you. Let me rewind to. Back when I was broken, I couldn't acquire two cents. And now I got two wrists. They were sleeping on me, homie. Must have got too big. 
Call my phone, I be like, who this? Damn right, hell yeah, I'm brand new. Smell like can too. I'm fresh forever like canned food. Try and tell me what I can't do. I want to see the world. My vision on Shamu. That mean I got goals that's real big. Foes that's real big. Y'all offer too little, sorry. My soul is real big. Coming into the ring with blows that's real big. I got to do it big. That's the only way I can live. What were you like today? Another Cloud 2 Classic? I'll stick with the usual. Maybe take a little bit off the sides. Oh, that's fresh. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Hey, watch your head. What sound experience would you like today? I'll have the fantasy pack. Good choice. And could you make it a Cloud 2 Wireless? On its way, sir. Sounds amazing. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Wow. Ain't accepting, ignore, just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's got to be real big. I got to make it just for my kids and for their kids. It's kids, that's wealth, years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out and finished his bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big. Job, that's real big. Satan trying a little, my God, is real big. Stayed up on the grind on the cars is real big. I got to do it big. The only way that I can live. Hey man, I just can't find a comfortable headset. I mean, I've tried everything. Literally everything. Jeez, my brother. I got you. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. That is comfortable. Y'all think too small, I got big dreams. You just starting, I'm way ahead at the end scenes. Started reading and dodging all of the quick schemes. Money like your Spotify, boy, I got 10 streams. And I'm still looking for more. My people, they got a sore, I'm putting that on the Lord. Ain't accepting, ignore, just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's got to be real big. I got to make it just for my kids and for their kids. It's kids, that's wealth, years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out and finished his bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big. Job, that's real big. Satan trying a little, my God, is real big. Stayed up on the grind on the cars, is real big. I got to do it big. The only way that I can live. And I promise I'm trying to. Before you count me out, homie, let me remind you. They was blocking the shine. Now I think it's my time to. Capping them dollar signs like lights, they'll blind you. Let me rewind to. Back when I was broke and I couldn't acquire two cents. And now I got two wrists. They was sleeping on me, homie, must have got too big. Call my phone, I be like, who this? Damn right, hell yeah, I'm brand new. Smell like can too. I'm fresh forever like can food. Try and tell me what I can't do. I want to see the world. My vision on Shamu. That mean I got goals that's real big. Foes that's real big. Y'all offer too little, sorry. My soul is real big. Coming into the ring with blows that's real big. I got to do it big. That's the only way I can live. What were you like today? Another Cloud 2 Classic? I'll stick with the usual. Maybe take a little bit off the sides. Hello and welcome back, everybody. We are ready to interview one of the Boise State members, Nerdy Bird. So congratulations, first off, on a fantastic win tonight. How does it feel? Feels pretty good. Um, not going to lie. I don't normally play Sigma, so it felt oh. nice to actually be successful a little bit. There were some mishaps, especially on Hanamura <laughs> for me. Um, <laughs> definitely my team came in clutch a lot, especially our Ana getting a lot of huge antis. It, it feels really good to continue to keep just moving forward and to playing our best as a team. Well, fantastic. Now, I have to ask you, uh, so far this season, you are 5-0. and zero. Um, Now, has any... Was this the hardest matchup you faced yet, or were you able to take them out, you feel like, with the same amount of ease you were able to in previous matches? Honestly, at first it felt like it was going to not be as much of a challenge as we'd anticipated. However, on Junkertown, the map that they chose definitely played into their playstyle a lot more. The 
our team was caught off guard quite a bit. We were struggling to get our attention focused on what we needed to be doing, what our win condition was. Playing spam and doing ball mirror is difficult for both sides, and they were doing it very well. By last point, we were like, okay, um, my other off tank player who actually also does play DPS, Kel, who played uh, the Doomfist ah, on the last yeah, yeah, map, yeah. he popped into my. Uh, DMs that sent me a message and said, get on point. And I was like, okay. And so that was my goal from that point onward was just to continue to get to that point. And granted, I just was a bullet absorber. Definitely Tracer was making my life very hectic and very scary. And when I went in for the flux there near the end, mm -hmm. I saw my life flash before that in my eyes when Brigida came out and I knew it was over, but I was like, I at least picked up two people. Uh, that's a good flux in my opinion. Hopefully the rest is taken care of. Yeah, no, you did absolutely fantastic. And uh, yeah, just to um, address the elephant in the room, just because of curiosity and nothing else, what did happen on Hanamura? We were all so confused <laughs> in the booth. Okay, Not so to I... make you relive it, but it was just, it's going to bug me. I would probably go I... to sleep tonight and be like, what was that on Hanamura? I, so... I apologize, but I do have to know. It's all good. Okay, so literally we were discussing Hanamura as a map and like who can jump the gap over and one of the teammates, I want to say it was either Asu or a large bagel, was like, oh yeah, everyone can make the jump. You just got to make sure that you knock down the pi the, pi the little pylons first, so the, the railing. I did that and I jumped a little bit too far from too far back and missed it as soon as I realized I was going to miss it. classic blunder. I just yeah, said, y'all are still down one and everyone was like, wait, what? And I was like, yep, I fell. Oh, unlucky. <laughs> well, um, yeah, that wouldn't be the first time something like that's happened. You know that jump on Gibraltar high ground first point? I never make that thing unless I'm on Wrecking Ball. So I feel yeah. you. I, I'm feel normally you. on Ana, and I'm like, watch me fail this three times and then give up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. Well, I'm going to turn it over to you for a few questions now, Dividing. Yeah, uh... Well, you've talked a little bit about uh, how you're not usually in the off tank role uh, on the team. Uh, what was kind of the situation that led to that happening? So I actually, I'm I'm gonna date myself a little bit here. I've been on, this is my fourth consecutive year on the team. I started out as actually the D.Va off tank player, but then rotated down to uh, support because we had so many gifted tanks coming in. I was like, I, I'm not gonna take away gameplay opportunities for these people that are above and beyond my level of skill on these, t on these uh, heroes here. So I dropped down to play support, but then this year our roster, we anticipated having two full teams, but we decided to only field one. So we have a nine player roster. So it's a six, but slightly expanded. That gives us a little bit more flexibility, especially with how many gifted players there are on the team. And so I get the opportunity to rotate in onto the off tank role and play my beloved uh, player, uh, hero of D.Va every now and again. That's exciting. But Plato legitimately it's like i'm gonna hard lock ball the, ball the entire time you guys just have to follow up good luck is what he said <laughs> at the beginning of the entire match and everyone was like oh no frost especially was like don't make me play tracer the entire time please and i was like oh no this means i'm on sigma and <laughs> kel is actually like really good at sigma and so i was like oh great i better not make a fool of myself because kel is gonna judge me very harshly and i mean i fully accept and embrace the judgment because it's you know constructive criticism but i'm like if I'm in on tank, let me Zarya or D.Va, please. But it's just not how the meta is working out right now. Yeah, it's not. I mean, I think you played pretty well on I Sigma. do, too. So I, I, I wouldn't fantastic. have been able to tell that you weren't comfortable on that here. Same, uh, same. Swapping gears a little bit here, I want you to tell me a little bit about the Boise State Esports program. You have a very impressive looking uh, esports space uh, behind you right now. I think Boise State goes a little bit under the radar compared to like the super big esports programs out there. But as a four year member of the program, uh, what has it done for you? So this this uh, whole setup has not always been where we've been at. We actually started out broadcasting from like a plywood plank desk that we had inside Doc's old classroom where we had our original battlegrounds as well. And then like if we had a team that like really needed to focus and have more of a quiet space because there was like 32 machines in his classroom, his office had six other machines up there and that's where we would practice and play from as well. So if we had two games going on at the same time, there'd either be two teams playing in the battlegrounds, his old class and one upstairs if needed for a different game playing and it was just absolutely insanely hot 
Uh, but when we were able to move out to here and things literally cooled off and we got all of this nice setup and gear, it's just every day that I get to walk in here, it's a reminder that we had a humble beginning and there were a lot of hiccups getting here. And honestly, we would not be here without the support of Doc Haskell, his drive to create this entire program, as well as the support of other organizations that have reached out to us to help us like just bring their organizations to the forefront. Broadcasting for them helps them get exposure and for our school to realize that it's not just our school that's interested in esports, it's other schools too. And so we need to up our game every year. Otherwise, everyone's going to start catching up. They won't need Boise State production anymore. That is awesome. It's super cool that you have some passionate people over there creating a great program. All right, final question from me. You guys are still completely perfect this ECAC season, 5-0 and in matches, 15-0 and in maps. How long do you think this streak is going to continue? Uh, so I have two ideas, and one is there's going to be a really awkward hero nerf that goes through. <laughs> that is going to result in Goblin not being able to play Doomfist or Torbjorn as he still chooses anymore. But they did just recently kind of buff Torb, so don't foresee that happening. And then the other thing is if finals hit us, which is, you know, everything's Ooh. kind of culminating and heading towards there, it's a lot of stress on our players. And it takes a lot of time, and that can include, like, reducing the amount of game time you have to practice on your own. And so you get a little bit rusty. So when finals and midterms are hitting us, that's going to be, what like, the Achilles heel if we start failing. It's definitely going to be due to lack of time and dedication to the game because academics come first here. Absolutely. Uh, Excellent. That's all the questions I have. Well, before we close things out, I just want to know if you have anyone you'd like to shout out uh, tonight. I actually want to give a shout out to Fluffy. Um, they reached out to me before the game even started and they're like, hey, just want to make sure our game is all good and ready to go and scheduled for the start of today. And in all honesty, we've had so many scheduling issues in the past of teams not even like responding to requests, accepting friend requests, even though like, you know, the, the gamer tag or the discord of the players on the other side. So like you get a discord request, you should probably accept it so you can talk. And so having someone just reaching out to verify that and being a like, being on top of it. I mean, I was in the middle of a broadcast when they sent their initial message and I apologized to them. I was like, I'm so sorry I was late. I, I was broadcasting Rocket League. Um, and I was like, yeah, we're all good to go. And I was able to pass that along to our other co-captains and our coach. And they're like, okay, that's good. We don't have to worry about any like rescheduling or delays. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for that. Thank you for a very engaging and fantastic interview. Um, it's been fantastic to get to talk to you and congratulations one again, once again on your win and good luck in the rest of the tournament. Thank you so much. Thank you for the interview and have a great rest of your day, guys. You all too. You too. All right. Well, that's going to do it for us here tonight. But before we close things out, remember to follow us on Twitter. If you've enjoyed our casting tonight, make sure to follow the ECAC Esports Twitch channel as well. Any final words for the audience dividing before we close it out? Boise State are a team to watch moving forward into the playoffs. We're just a few weeks away and honestly, it comes down to Boise and I think probably, I think there's one other team in ECAC that is still undefeated after this week. That sets up a true barn burner probably between the two uh, lossless teams in the league. I believe it's Boise and Bay State. I'm not sure if that's going to be streamed, but it is definitely something you should be keeping an eye out for. Those are the two teams that I have an eye on in the later, uh, later stages of this season. But definitely keep an eye out for Wichita. They put up a good fight today and could definitely pull off a run. Absolutely. I fully expect to see them in the playoffs. Well, thank you so much for tuning in tonight. That's going to do it for us here. Be sure to check out all the amazing esports action that ECAC has to offer. GG's and see you next time. Oh, that's fresh. <laughs> The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Hey, watch it! What sound experience would you like to know? I'll have the Fantasy Pack. Good choice. And could you make it a Cloud 2 Wireless? On his way, sir. Sounds amazing! The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless.
Ain't accepting, ignore, just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's got to be real big. I got to make it just for my kids and for their kids. It's kids, that's wealth, years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out to finish this bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big. Job, that's real big. Satan trying a little, my God, is real big. Stayed up on the grind on the cars, is real big. I got to do it big. The only way that I can live. Hey man, I just can't find a comfortable headset. I mean, I've tried everything. Literally everything. Jeez, my brother. I got you. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Oh, that is comfortable. Y'all think too small, I got big dreams. You just starting, I'm way ahead at the end scenes. Started reading and dodging all of the quick schemes. Money like your Spotify, boy, I got 10 streams. And I'm still looking for more. My people, they got a saw, I'm putting that on the Lord. Ain't accepting, ignore, just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's got to be real big. I got to make it just for my kids and for their kids. It's kids, that's wealth, years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out to finish this bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big. Job, that's real big. Satan trying a little my god is real big stayed up on the ground on the cars is real big i gotta do it big the only way that i can live and i promise i'm trying to before you count me out homie let me remind you they was blocking the shine now i think it's my time to capping them dollar signs like lights they'll blind you let me rewind to back when i was broken i couldn't acquire two cents and now i got two rents they were sleeping on me homie must have got too big on my phone, I be like, who this? Damn right, hell yeah, I'm brand new. Smell like can too. I'm fresh forever like canned food. Try and tell me what I can't do. I want to see the world. My vision on sham I mean, I got goals that's real big. Foes that's real big. Your offer too little. Sorry, my soul is real big. Coming into the ring with blows that's real big. I got to do it big. That's the only way I can live. What were you like today? Another Cloud 2 Classic? I'll stick with the usual. Maybe take a little bit off the sides. Oh, that's fresh. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Hey, watch your head. What sound experience would you like today? I'll have the Fantasy Pack. Good choice. And could you make it a Cloud 2 Wireless? On his way, sir. Sounds amazing! The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Accepting, ignore, just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's gotta be real big. I gotta make it just for my kids and for their kids. It's kids, that's wealth, years and years.